Hi, I'm Josh Detzel, founder and chief scientific officer of Canisol Technologies. Today, we're going to show you how you can make your own cannabis or hemp-based nano emulsion using our patent pending nano premix. Today, we'll be making a 1 liter batch of nano emulsion containing 5% active ingredient. To a 500 ml beaker, add 4 parts nano premix, in this case, that's 200 grams, add 1 part active ingredient, in this case, 50 grams. Our active ingredient is 99.5% pure CBD isolate, but you can choose from a range of active ingredients, including CBD isolate, full spectrum hemp extracts, or high THC cannabis extracts. Proper mixing is extremely important. Place the beaker on the hot plate and immerse the mixer. Heat the contents of the beaker to 65 to 70 degrees Celsius while mixing thoroughly. Take care to ensure that the premix does not rise above 80 degrees Celsius. Initial hand mixing in a hot water bath followed by machine mixing can accelerate the mixing process. As the active ingredient melts around 65 degrees Celsius, you'll notice a color change in the material. The viscosity will also drop dramatically. When the material is thoroughly mixed, it's time to add the initial water. Add 250 ml of warm water around 55 degrees Celsius, slowly, while stirring vigorously. Use a scraper to remove any residual material from the walls of the beaker, while continuing to mix. And there you have it, you've formed your coarse emulsion and you're now ready to sonicate. Once the material is totally homogeneous, it's time to transfer to the jacketed beaker. Remove the beaker from the hot plate and transfer the contents into the jacketed beaker. Cooling water flowing through the jacketed beaker will allow us to hold the emulsion temperature at 65 degrees Celsius during processing. Use a second volume of water to transfer the remaining residual material from the original beaker to the jacketed beaker. In this case, we've used 500 ml of water. We'll add additional water to top up to the 1 liter mark. Ensure your probe is adequately submerged and we're ready to initiate sonication. The QSonica Q700CA is perfect for large laboratory scale production or light commercial scale production of nano emulsions. Start up your sonicator. Click to operate manually and set your amplitude to 60 microns. After two minutes of processing, we'll increase amplitude to 80 microns. Click the start button to initiate sonication. Processing times typically range from 45 to 60 minutes with the Q700. By the 45 minute point, you should notice a dramatic change in the color and clarity of the product. We elected to go to one hour on this particular batch. You can assess progress by monitoring the color and clarity of the product. As particle size diminishes, the particles no longer scatter visible light, and translucency increases. By the one hour point, we were satisfied with the transparency of the product. Assess the clarity of the emulsion in a small transparent container against a bright light. By the one hour point, you should see a dramatic increase in clarity in the sonicated sample. At this point, you may choose to add preservative and acid to enhance the shelf life of the concentrated emulsion. We've added 0.15% potassium sorbate and used ascorbic acid to acidify the product to a pH below 4.6 to enhance stability. Filtration is the final step. Here we have a peristaltic pump, 
a capsule filter, and a polypropylene bottle. We have autoclaved the capsule filter and the polypropylene bottle to ensure sterility. The peristaltic pump is feeding from the jacketed beaker. If you have access to a dynamic light scattering device, you can use this to run a particle size analysis on the finished product. DLS makes use of laser scattering data to determine particle size distribution. You can see for this batch, we have an intensity weighted size of 52 nanometers, and more importantly, a volume weighted average size of 38.7 nanometers. Benefits of nanoemulsification include dramatic bioavailability enhancement, faster onset of action, and expanded formulation options. This nanoemulsion can be used to infuse your active ingredient into a variety of products, including tinctures, beverages, shots, gummies, baked goods, or other water-containing products.